At long last, I've gotten around to it. I have done my full review on the Daystate Red Wolf. Some of you guys have been begging me to get this done. I've been promising it for ages. So I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Let's do this a little bit differently. I've been collecting videos and photos over the last eight months. So I put together a little video montage. Have a look at that. There's some accuracy shooting in it. Then I'll come back and I'll explain what I think of my experience of the Daystate Red Wolf over the last eight months, the pros and the bad points about it and let you know whether or not you should get one.
Alright guys, I do do hope you enjoyed that little video montage. I just felt like doing something slightly different. I don't know if I'm going to do it again. It certainly took a lot of time to do that. But um, anyway, this is a new video from Eganology. We do air rifles, and uh, pistols and technology. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button please. And don't forget to check out the video comments down below and the description in YouTube for everything. So all of the accessories you saw on here, you're going to ask me, where did you get the scope mounts from? Where did you get this from? Where did you get that from? It's all in the video description. Check those links out there. It's all there deliberately for you. And also to say thank you to the guys that have given me some of this stuff as well. So anyway, the Red Wolf, Daystate Red Wolf. Oh, I love it. Okay, straight off. You know I'm going to say good things about it. I am going to tell you the bad things about it as well. But I absolutely love this rifle. A brief history of it. I gave you a bit of a history when I first got it. But um, back in January, I didn't know whether or not I wanted an FX impact, whether or not I wanted a Wolverine or a Red Wolf. In the end, I plumped for the Red Wolf. I play with a lot of good rifles from all of my subscribers. Um, I wanted one myself, so I saved up, then got the Red Wolf. In the end, I did get a second-hand impact as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've had it for since um, since uh, January two, uh, 2019. I've put many, many thousands of rounds for it, and um, I've blinged it up quite a bit as well. But um, I absolutely love it. Let's just start off with some of the good points on it. Its accuracy is amazing. Um, that video that you saw there uh, was real time. It was not speeded up. Um, and the way that I do it basically is I have my cocking lever on the left hand side. Very easy on the Red Wolf to swap over, 10 minute job. And the reason is, is that I can have the rifle shouldered like so, and with my trigger finger, I can have the bean bag underneath, bipod, shoot, cock, shoot, cock without moving my right hand um, and that was all done through the magazine system here um, and talking to the magazine system the best magazine system in the world is the day state and the brocock ones these just work brilliantly they also do give you a single shot as well um, and i've had zero problems with the magazine system on it as well but like i said that was a 25 meter shooting bang 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 10 shots all under a quarter the size of a penny piece i then move it out to 50 slow it down a little bit same things. I am a rubbish shot, but this thing makes me look like an Olympic shooter. It is that good. On the side note, I've tried thousands of different pellets. JSB's exacts 844 grain 177 are the best. I found that out, um, followed closely by the day state heavies. Um, but what also makes this a really accurate rifle is the electronic brain in it. Um, as you all know, the day state is the, uh, the, the, uh, the new arrival since the Airwolf, um, the, the successor to the Airwolf is the word that I'm looking. And inside here is an electronic brain. Basically, that electronic brain knows how much pressure is in the bottle, how much pressure it has to deliver to the pellet to give it the correct velocity every single time. It works it out in fractions of seconds. There's no mechanics messing around in here or mechanical regulators that can creep or anything. And it delivers the precise amount of power air pressure behind the pellet every single time. You then combine that with the match gauge electronic fully adjustable trigger and you've got a winning combination. And why is that? Well, with a normal mechanical trigger, if you take your shot, you line up and you pull the trigger, there is that split second after you pull that trigger where the arms and the rods and the mechanics work to release the hammer. And that, if you flinch or anything, can cause the pellet a slight vibration and off goes the pellet. And that's why you have to be really careful with your follow throughs and keep your breathing right. Obviously you do that again with the Red Wolf, but because of this is basically a fly-by-wire, you touch the trigger, an electronic signal is sent at the speed of light straight into, uh, the, uh, into the system up here. The air is released a precise amount, out it goes. There's very, very little chance of you introducing shakes or wobbles into the pellet release stage. Um, and it does, it makes shooters like me look absolutely brilliant. So that sort of brings on to a bad point, electronics. Oh, it's electronics, please, I don't like that. No, 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 we can't have that. We like everything mechanical, but I do like to drive around in my modern day car. Mm, yeah, don't worry about the mechanics, the, the electronics in there. Um, 
I run the Facebook group and the forum and I check the others. I have not once seen somebody have a problem with a Red Wolf Electronics. That was not something that they had done. Um, no problems at all. I have got this wet, not had a problem. Obviously, I'm not going to throw it in a lake, but absolutely zero problems with it. It does what it's supposed to do and says that. Um, it's just a fear mongering. A lot of people just don't like the electronics. If you don't like the electronics, simple. You can stop the video now. The Red Wolf's not for you. If you if you do, try the Wolverine. That's the mechanical brother of this. Um, but at the end of the day, no, absolutely no problems. Oh, but what if my battery runs out? I've, I've actually charged this battery up three times since January, and I shoot this a lot, as much as I can. It is good for two, three thousand shots easily, if more. I've never even bothered to try to take it. Literally, I think, oh, I've forgotten to fill the Red Wolf up, plug the battery in. I do it once every three months. Um, absolutely zero problems with it at all. So the electronics and the accuracy, because it's got obviously it's got its match barrel in here. I have not seen or shot a more accurate um, air rifle ever. And I've been through a lots of them. The Styres, apart from the Olympic ones, I've not had a go at, but I've been through the Styres, the Virax, uh, the FXs. This beats them hands down every single time. So what about a bad point? Color, yeah. Yeah, only an ugly, only a mother can love, love an ugly child, whatever the saying goes. Red, or you can get it in blue, or you can get it in a walnut, or you can get it in safari. But those are the colour choices you have. I personally think the red is absolutely gorgeous. The blue, the midnight, which sort of gets a lot of people going, why is it called a red wolf? Well, yeah, it's blue. It's a red wolf series. Yeah, they state screwed up the marketing on that one, didn't they? They should have called it something else, but absolutely. I love the laminate stocking on it. It's absolutely not lovely. Some people are complaining about the laminate stocks, the cheek piece here not matching. That's just the way Manelli make them, unfortunately. They say I've got no choice about it. They do not make these all out of one piece of wood and cut this out. These bits are made separately and then they're matched up. They try to get them as matched as close as possible and it's done for economic reasons. They make thousands of stocks and it saves money and brings the cost down to you. Um, what else have we got? Uh, the price, of course, the elephant in the room. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's a two plus grand rifle. When I got mine, it was 1900 or something pounds they've gone up a little bit again if you're after a 500 pound rifle you shouldn't be looking at one of these absolutely no way uh, they are expensive they're more expensive than the top range fx's guaranteed but Think of it this way, you're buying British, yes, okay, okay, the Italians are there, but you're buying a British product made in England, put together in England. It is a beautiful, beautiful rifle, fantastic. I absolutely love it. Another bad point is basically day state, um, a bit too good for their own good. <laughs> I run the Facebook groups and forums and I see a lot of comments of day state bash and everything. You know, nine times out of 10, it's about where is my Red Wolf? I want one, I ordered it four months ago. Yeah, they've got a problem. They can't get them out the door quick enough, unfortunately. So my advice is if you're willing to wait and prepared and you're a patient person, put an order in. If you're not, Go driving around the country and find one that's in an RFD and buy it off them straight away. Um, I, I, it, does, it does annoy me at times, um, but yes, it is a bit of a problem, I'm afraid. They, they made such a cracking rifle. Everybody wants one. Since I started the Facebook group up Air Gunology, I think at least 10 people have brought the rifles from there and they all absolutely love them. Um, one of the bad points about it is the safety of the back here. That safety acts as an on off switch. So if you're one of these people that likes to shoot, um, let's say you go hunting and you cock the rifle and leave it cocked, nothing wrong with that as long as you're safe, but you, then you don't actually touch the trigger for 10 minutes. Um, I think after five minutes, this will actually shut itself down, a little bit like a computer going to hibernate. So when you'll be there, you have the rifle cocked, you're waiting in your hide, the rat pops up after five or 10 minutes, you pull the trigger, nothing happens. What you gotta do is put it into safe, which shuts the machine off, put it back into fire, which switches the machine, the computer back on, and then the trigger will work. Um, it's there to design save battery, and also it's there as a safety functionality. Now, personally, when I go shooting, um, let's say I go ratting, then what I'll do is I'll load it up, but I'll put it onto safe, which I should do anyway. And then as the rabbit pops up, or whatever it is that pops out, I will take the safety catch off, make sure everything's safe, uh, which wakes up the computer, and then 
take my shot. So it enforces safety on there. So that is a downside. A lot of people don't like that at all. But um, what do I think? Some of the good points again. I think the workmanship on the rifle is gorgeous. And you do expect that out of a two grand rifle. You've got all the full carbon on here. Uh, options for hug it or zero DB silences that they do. Um, I love the stock. I think it's fantastic. And the, all of the, the metal work on here, the blue in, are uh, absolutely fantastic. I think it is a beautiful, beautiful rifle. So that's my thoughts and uh, feelings on it. You know, a little bit biased, but you know me, I will say it as I think it is. I've owned it now for eight months. I think it is the best rifle. I am never, ever going to part with this rifle whatsoever. I think it's gorgeous um, and I love it to pieces. And I know a lot of you guys have brought one as well. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts, your feelings, your comments. Leave it down below in the uh, video description. Uh, give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do hit that bell notification let me know what you think of the red wolf how do you like it what accessories have you put on yours can you beat me <laughs> but um yeah i would love to know and please keep the the bashing down um because i know a lot of you guys love to bash day state um they have their faults but i'll tell you what they create cracking rifles catch you on the next video